Alright, what's our last uh, level? Probably the submarine, right? Oh, I guess it's an island. And the Kraken, with a crab the claw. Trident, and helping the god of the sea unpollute the water. Next on his hit list were pig and sheep who would hold up in Crab Claw Cove. I like that name, Crab Claw Cove. Sounds pretty cool. Four heads for the price of 21 Let us souls. Continue our adventure. Still didn't find anything for the puffer fish to do. We used a jellyfish to get to who the bonus stage, and we used a sushi. Jet skis when you've got a ballistic squid. Kutaro ballistic had a squid, good. Of purpose as he rocketed towards his enemy's stronghold, Crab Claw Cove. This hideout once belonged to Captain Gaff and his swarthy band of sea dogs. But just like his ship, it had been lost in the battle against the mighty Moby. The island's namesake, a claw-shaped rock at its peak, had just poked into view as Kutaro and Captain Gaff reunited for one last... Crabclaw battle. Cove sounds and like something that would be in a Sly the Cooper game. Specifically sure the third Sly the Cooper picture. game. This is good pirate music. Feast your deadlights on those smooth sands, those supple curves, those clammy crevasses. Look smart, me buckos! We're going in! Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like the, uh, when it comes to impromptu monstro is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Alright, fishy, let's see you out swim the jolly lamb ham! Where the long toms? Trying to slip away, hey? Hold the depth charges! <laughs> if you want to sink that badly, Captain Gaff will gladly oblige. Really? At least Jack Sparrow is having fun. Zoinks! <laughs> Son of a brisket eater! We're taking fire! It can't be doing that much damage, can it? Airhead trying to blow us up too? Oh, get up, Katara! We're about to sleep with the fishes! Katara! We'll be fine. We already had an adventure underwater. If the ship sinks, we'll get through it. Oh, hello. Are you teaching me what I learned from my friend, God Seaman? Try cutting that. I can't. I said cut the fish bones. It's so hard. Hands off the inner tube. You're going to let all the air out. I can't swim, idiot! Luna Kazoo! Oh god! Oh, you just made money. Oh, you! I said cut the fish bones! Thick skulls, whelp! Did she just make, uh, Picarina into the Hands dive suit? The inner tube. Did I miss stuff that I could have done with Picarina like that? It doesn't last forever, which is a shame, but it would have been fun. Okay, so what happened? Change color. I did not. The Make fire? Cut straight after to fly farther and faster oh. Oh no. It's all in the timing. Snip, snip. Got it? Then see Is that what the light's for? Over here. This could be cool. Oh, yeah, that was the fire. Okay, awesome. I didn't remember about that. So I can fly even more now. I like when Picarina had the diving suit on. It was cute. Oh, I got some marine head. Oh, there's a little diver inside. Okay, what don't I need? I need all of these heads. That's fun. I almost died though. That's fun though. Oh yeah, the submarine's not doing so hot. Meanwhile, the Jolly Lamb was still lambasting our hero mercilessly. A dead end. But I bet we could slice through that sticky stuff. There's like a friend stuck on there. Where? My friend. Oh, I saved the soul anyways. Good. 
This is more a tutorial zone than anything, huh? And I can cut through a lot quicker with it as well. Looks like you need to cut in a circle. I don't know what a circle is. It seems more squarish than circleish. Oh, I was like on the ground, so it was weird. Oh no, it's gone terribly. All right, where did you come from? Get out of here, Mister. Take your time. Gotta make sure you do it right. That's definitely not right. It's because I keep hitting the ground. You don't get your momentum when you're on the ground. You just start walking again. All right, that nice worked. Work. What did I hit? Just like a two came out? Alright, let's sub it up. Do I have to be in the middle? There it is. Yeah, I was just in the wrong spot. I got panicked there. I thought maybe I missed my chance. Bonus stage. Going into the yellow submarine. Oh, well. I guess she knows too. Picarina loves the bonus stage. Naturally, the submarine oh, it's one of these. Well, seems like I have more land to work with. As the age of turmoil also, I probably should be using this, and this actually would help a lot with the pirate ship one. Keep missing. I keep missing. Did I actually fall through? There was like so little space for me to fall and I still failed okay well again we can just get there I was having some trouble getting that one piece and then just completely whiffed it let's pretend that didn't happen well captain Gaff salvos were doing quite a number on the Moby that Outside definitely isn't how I'm supposed to do that, Does that knuckle even care if we're in here? I was hoping the fire would go away quicker than it did. I also really screwed that up. Fuel pipes I'm used to, like, of flame. cutting quick. Alright, oh, we're good. Can I turn it off with this? No. Oop! Made it. Alright, wait for the heat. Oh, it's... Okay. I didn't realize how it burns. Oh, I also... Ooh! I actually timed that pretty well. Uh, not from any uh, foresight on my behalf. The Moby had turned into a deadly inferno. The egg I salute you, little guy, but can you put the shovel down? Oh, uh, could I have done that earlier? Well, I know a soul I could have missed then. I thought I hit the thing. I don't think I need Jolly Lamham. Why does Captain Gaff have Jolly Lamham? Also, scary. Wasn't prepared. I kind of cut through poorly there. Can't catch me now, Saw. Alright, well, I lost a head. And there was a head over there. Oh, well. Now what? We're, like, Whoa. at the teeth. What's with the funky machine? I wonder if that's a hint. Oh, I need to, like, hit the brunt of it. Engine pressure rising. Begin manual ventilation. I'm like not hitting it no good enough, I guess. I'm trying, it just. That was one, wasn't it? What? I'm like not hitting it enough, I guess. God damn it. I think maybe I need to do it quick enough. Yeah, it just wasn't quick enough. I was overthinking it. I thought I wasn't, like, activating the smoke. I just wasn't. I had to just do it quick. I'm just dumb. We killed the whale. Onward to Crab Cove Cave. The last I saw ye swabs, you were sinking, and now you be falling out of the sky. 
I marvel at your spontaneity. I'll marvel you, Tricorn Jerk. How could you wait? Like, Kudoro is always just fighting the pirate captain. Oh look, they're saved too. Thank goodness. Ah, this bodes ill, me hearties. Lady Luck has cheated old Captain Gap. Why? What's the problem now? Crab Claw Cove be a night impenetrable fortress. The outer cliffs repel even the tallest ship, whilst the castle walls above deter the most able climber. And let's not even speak of the twisted trail that leads to the peak or the countless cannons to thwart our progress. Aye, we'll have a hard time extracting those scallywags now. Great, so we'll figure it out. I said no impenetrable, but Captain Gaff knows the ins and outs of his oldest mistress. <laughs> How we do, Captain Gaff. Now that's a big gun. Oh. I calls him Long Tom. He can reach so far up the island, she won't know what air. Now we're talking. Let's unload on that beach like there's no tomorrow. Kuduro, this be a two-man job. Kindly assume the position. Huh? Wait a second. You're not gonna... Fire! Kutura rocketed out of the cannon with a deafening roar and hurtled towards Crabclaw Cove at obscene speed. This is so not cool. It's fine. We're, you know, we're on the second part of the level. Oh, it's one of the spinny spins. We haven't gotten to a spinny ah, spin yet. I think they want, like, one Crabby. per the area or act. Excuse me. Claw-shaped island was once home to a fearful band of. Oh, I got crabhead. A fearful band. They're my friends. And how would you stop confusing me? A fearful band of pirates in the service of Captain Gaff. That was until Generals Pig and Sheep moved in. Well, I guess I dealt with barrels. Convenient. And I have crab friends now. What does my crab head do? A little crab dance. Fun. Alright, crab friends, let's go. Adventure. Glad that bounces. Not glad those spin, but it's to be expected. Oh, ah, made it. What's in here? Oh, it's dark and scary! Can you find a switch? No! Thank God I knew what the right stick is. I see you, gremlin, trying to throw stuff at me. I'll just bomb it. Hello, secret pirate base. Kataro, Pecorina. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to steal back the Moonstone shards from Agents Pig and Sheep. This message will self-destruct in. Oh no! Ooh, I didn't realize that was actually timed. Huh. Smooth. Close one. All right, we're done. Oh, octopus! No, die. They died. What on the moon? Hey, check out the stuff. It was an octopus. Yeah, it's my friend. I made little bubble friends. Adorable. Can just go past most challenges right now with it. What's up with that one's face? Oh, another octopus head. I like that one's face, actually. That's a good octopus. Oh, that one's dead. That's a bad octopus. It's a dead one. I feel like these cannons probably would shoot me if... Oh, now they're like octopus pots. Yeah. Would have just been more challenging than fun. More crab friends? I'm one with you, crabs. I am you. More barrel friends? Just wait for them to get sucked in as well. Yeah, they just kind of do it once you open the path up. Man, all these banana peels. Can't pig and sheep what happened? After they eat? Well, I lost that head. Oh, the bananas confused <laughs> me. I didn't notice the bananas before. Oh my gosh, do you think? There was like think slipping and sliding that I wasn't prepared for.
move. Sometimes the hook just doesn't feel like cooking. Oh. I need to remember to do that, too. I keep forgetting to time my uh, cuts better. I wanted to kind of look around a bit, but I'm unsure where I am. The great pipes plastered all over Crabclaw Cove's inner sanctum made it look like it was designed by some sort of... Oh, I need to time it better. Welcome to Hotel World of Nailed it. First try. I guess this My friend! And she built their stuff. How did those klutzes do it? They didn't. You see, the Moon Bear King had another general. One slightly more adroit when it came to matters of a technological nature. Thanks, but it was a rhetorical question. Rude. Oh, we made our way through. And thankfully, they gave me another head. Uh oh. Wasn't prepared. Oh, puffer fish! I guess it was just for the money. The barrel stopped, though. Between the cannonballs, crumbling paths, heaps of swords, and falling powder kegs, the fortress of Crab Claw Cove had proven to be a tough wedge to tame. Wasn't this Captain Gas' place? You'd think he'd have built an easier way in. He probably is gonna come through an easier way. What's with this, like? Oh, this is for the uh, bullhead. I was wondering about the track, but clearly it has to do with that. What about the coconuts? Nothing. I gotta get ready for this. Go! Yeah, saw you coming. I was prepared for that. Hey, how are you doing, friend? You're gonna get spiked? A little bit spiked. It's okay. He's a little too far off. It's fine, it worked out. Alright, back into the secret science Five. base. Oh. Four. I guess we know uh, what we're going to be fighting. Lift off. Robocrab are go! You know, that's pretty cool looking, though. I might be dying. This Robo Crab's gonna kill me. Pig, sheep, do you copy? Enemy I saw that hook. Have breached the CCC. Take Robo Crab Mark 1 and eliminate them before it's too late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, I sort of nerd out around robots. Crab. Okay. Can we get on with it? Get me off of that. I don't want to. Crab Claw Cove was where the generals had stashed their most amazing secret weapon yet. Kutaro was in for it. Crab. Activate. There we go. I got my own crab friend. Eager to protect his turf, the real giant crab loaded the robo crab from behind. Okay. Damn it, Robo Crab! Engage flight mode before it's too late. Roger. Guess we moved on to the next phase with that. Oh, didn't should have used the um my power. I panicked a little bit. Fear not, Robo Crab. You can still stop him with a tractor beam. Roger. Activate. Tractor this. I'm still. We've got you now. Uh, no. Nope, get me out of there. Tractor this. Oh, it's done. Where are you coming from? That way. You don't play fair. I escaped. Oh, that is so I mean, I used a giant real crab, so of course I don't play fair. Roger. Activating tractor Just keep dropping a bunch of bombs until something happens. Nailed it. Fire erupted from the primary engine. 
Danger, Will Cravenson! Danger! Stay on him! I don't care if we have to drag pig and sheep out of the flaming wreckage! Someone was cutting through the thick pools of smoke and closing in on Robocrab fast. That's right, it was Kuzero. I'm just gonna brute force. With a mighty the first! Stay away! This robot it was broke. expensive! We have to. But I kind of screwed that up a bit, but. Are we done? It's kind of hard to try to. Oh, wait! Mm. I should have tried to hit them. I should have tried to hit them with Pecorina before I fought. It'll be fine. I'll just have to come back later. Oop. Hit the wrong button. Almost hit the wrong button. Self-destruct button. <laughs> Nailed it. Now I'm the pirate king. Way to go, Katara! Giant enemy got defeated. And look, moonstone. It's like a spiral. Two shards in one go. I still don't know what it's supposed to be. And fireworks. Fireworks, each a flower of spots growing in the garden of our hearts. Don't you think, Captain? Ah, but who has time for flowers in the sky <laughs> when the flowers below be of such varicose beauty? Oh. Tis you that I wish to pluck tonight, oh. my amour. How romantic. And thus ends our tale of how the Oh, it's over. What a good game. Gaff found true love and lived happily ever after. The end. How dare you write an ending without me? This is my story. Curse you all. I'll teach you to make a fool of me. All of you. Especially you. Kuta. Me? I'll string you up if it's the last thing I do. It seems the Moon Bear King wasn't quite ready to live happily ever after. No. Mm -mm. He still had lots of unhappiness to go round. So cranky. But it was so romantic with the fireworks and Jack Sparrow. It's what every girl dreams of. With the help of Calibrus. Kutaro defeated the menace and I really need to remember to try to hit the bosses before I do the finishing move. I'm confident I probably need it to by the end there. It's fine, we'll see how well we did. We killed the ocean. Well, we saved the ocean, but we killed High Noon. Sounds pretty cool. And we got a picture book. Always fun. Yeah, I missed two heads, so we'll have to go there no matter what. Winning back the trident and helping the Let's also go to uh bonus stage, try that submarine again. Cause that really shouldn't have uh gone the way it did for me. There was like so little room for error. Well, a lot of room for error, I mean. That's actually the terminology there. A lot of room for error, and I just went nuts. It was like a buttery yellow sunset as the age of turmoil melted away to reveal a It's that the same one? That was the same one. Where your grandmother darned your socks and you could knock on your neighbor's door without carrying up to us. As long as I keep bubbling. Hey, we're up. Oh, this is different and unique. Kind of strange, actually. Okay. Really change it up. I'm assuming this is the last bit. Was there more up there that I missed? Yeah, okay, more grew up there. 
Please. Please, this is it. This is it. I need... Oh, just barely. It's a little hard to control it when you have, like, the time limit and you need to be a bit more precise. It's not, like, terrible. But, you know, a bit sweaty. I got a bit sweaty with that. Uh, I'm assuming one of the heads I missed had to do with Jack Sparrow, too, since we didn't get him. Could be in any of the, uh, areas, though. Let's see, I missed one here. Show a little gratitude, it's not easy taking point or looking pointy. That has to be the squid. I think, I think that, that sounds like that has to do with jumping on the first one, because it's the one that was taking point for us. What's the point of running if you're just going to conk out in the end? Uh... Huh. It's a bit vague. That kind of sounds like it might have something to do with the... Boat. No, the boat. Not the boat. The, um... Whale submarine. Split it into two equal parts, and they might even thank you. Yeah, so I think that has to do with hitting the, uh, crab once you kill it, and then... You get, like, lamb and ham or something. Alright, let's see what the picture book has for us. Everyone loves story time. And it's about our pirate friend. The buxom stops here. Meet Captain Gaff, the finest pirate the moon has ever seen. Rakishly he rode the turbulent seas, swashing more buckles and giving less quarter, running more rigs and plundering more coin than any other freebooter before him. Gaff was a legend. But what happened? He loved battle, he loved treasure, he loved carousing with his mighty ease, but more than anything, he loved buxom beauty. Who doesn't, am I right, guys? Hey. Every woman had a place in his heart, so long as she possessed the right visual appeal. Be they domesticated or sophisticated, sheltered or seasoned, royal or wenchly, conjugal or chaste, Gaff lusted after every pretty face on and off the open sea. How many were on the open if sea, though? Applying them with the usual flowers and love letters didn't work. What lovely lady could resist the romance? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Kidnapping always works. Gotta get that Stockholm going. The captain's hideaway, Crab Claw Cove, was bursting at the seams with buxom booty. It's like one of those shadows in the back looks like a ghost. A whole bouquet of pretty flowers to pluck like they're being spooky. And fresh young vixens to gently caress. To Captain Gaff, the beginning and end of a woman's worth was something to be cupped in both hands. Beauty. They had to be beautiful. No pirate wanted a bouquet of withered flowers. And the sad truth was, even the freshest vixens had an expiration date. Yes, that's why that one was a ghost, because they expired. The knew of the they were that killed. Sea was leaving on the realm. Women lived in fear of being beautiful, or worse, unbeautiful. Men with attractive wives wanted to kill Gaff, and the other men hated that they couldn't be him. They mobilized militias, assembled vast armadas, but the legendary pirate took this as a challenge. After making off with their women and treasure anyway, he put the rest to the torch. Okay, so he's kind of an asshole. Finally, Gaff's victims turned to the moon goddess. Help us, cried lovelies he had yet to lay hands on. Stop him, shrieked the concubines he'd cast aside. The goddess decided to cast a spell on Gaff to punish him. You must atone for your crimes, she said as 10,000 volts of magical justice coursed through the captain's depraved body. And then he's dead. You just killed him. He awoke back in Crab Claw Cove. Fraught with concern, his beloved bevy of buxom beauties barreled toward him. But Gaff's eyes saw only hideous monsters. Ah! 
cried Gaff tragically as he swung his sword. And then they were gone. Oh, he killed them. All the beauty he had amassed, a lifetime of trophies, destroyed by his hand. Sink me sideways, Captain! Gaff's loyal crew had heard the commotion. His crew? No, even his mates had transformed before his eyes. The captain had been doomed to view every other living soul as an abomination. And so this is a pretty interesting retelling of Shallow Hal. More than half his life with. It's amazing that they decided to replace All Jack Black with Johnny Depp. His island, his treasure, and his pirate ship. Little consolation without buxom beauties to hang the jewels on, and a crew to man the deck. His days of carousing were over. Arr, the world be a worthless empty place. All be darkness. Captain Gaff, pirate legend, was alone. But he would stay that way until his sins were forgiven. Oh, I guess they were just never forgiven. What a lovely tale. Surprised we didn't really get one for the, uh, the tree, cedar tree grandparents, but I guess they weren't as important as getting some, <clears throat> excuse me, some backstory for the sun goddess princess. She's not a goddess, she's a princess. Get it straight, guys. Part of me wants to kind of see what, like, get an idea for some of the heads I need for the next level. But I doubt I'll really remember it well enough. Some critters are too cute to pet just once. Start mashing on a critter and see if something happens. It's the find of the century. You dig it? Probably like bones. After six Luna Kazoos, it'll start to feel like a witch yourself. So we'll probably unlock some power where we will meet with the Moon Witch again. And we just have to keep smacking her until she does something. Sombrero, check. Poncho, check. That just sounds like we get a sombrero. You're not going to leave her and they're crying, are you? I don't know. Don't let someone cry. The duel is at high noon. Alright, so that was all for chapter uh, curtain one of act four. A bit vague. We'll try. I'll try to keep it in mind when we go in, but no promises. Thank <laughs> you.